This video has been brought to you by DataVinci Analytics Agency. Hello everyone and welcome to DataVinci's YouTube channel. Today in this video, we will be diving into Google Analytics 4 audit. We are going to cover introduction to GA4 audit, benefits of conducting a GA4 audit, the process overview for conducting a GA4 audit, components of GA4 audit and tools for GA4 audit. Proceeding with the challenges that one would encounter if there were no audits. So without GA4 audits, organization would encounter various challenges like the first we have is maintaining the accuracy and effectiveness of their Google Analytics implementation. There can be inaccuracies in data collection which can arise due to tracking errors or misconfigurations in the setup. Then, due to the inaccuracies, it could also lead to errors in insights and misguided decision making, thus impacting overall business strategy. The third one we have is compliance risk. Without regular audits, organizations may also fail to ensure the compliance with privacy regulations such as GDPR or CCPA risking their reputation and stepping in the vicious cycle of legal consequences due to mishandling of user data. And next, it can also result in missed opportunities for optimization as organizations may fail to look the inefficiencies of their tracking setup and derive the valuable insights for business growth. Let us now understand that what is an audit? So in general, an audit means a thorough examination or review of a system, process, organization, or a set of data to ensure its accuracy, its effectiveness, its overall performance, and the most important, whether it is compliant with regulations or standards. If we understand this in more simpler terms, so we can say that an audit's main goal is to verify the information of any system, process, or data to identify its risk, its overall performance, or whether it is compliant with regulations or it requires any improvement. Now, as we are clear with the general meaning of audit, let us now know that what is a GA4 audit. So a GA4 audit is a mixture of various elements. It not only includes a proper review of the complete setup or configuration, but also it includes verification of account settings, then assessing the accuracy of tracking implementation. Also, it includes the effectiveness of conversion tracking, which means whether the conversion events implemented are as per your business needs or not. Then the foremost thing one must have a look is the privacy regulations, as whether your current setup is involved in collecting any PII data. PII data means personally identifiable information. It includes like a person name, email, phone number, etc. things. These information, the PII data should not be collected as per Google's norm. Moving ahead with benefits of GA4 audit. Conducting a GA4 audit has various advantages like enhanced data quality, a GA4 audit ensures that the data collected by your Google Analytics 4 property is accurate and reliable, thus providing confidence in the insights derived from your analytics report. Next we have is mitigation of risk. By conducting a GA4 audit, you can verify that your tracking implementations and data collection practices align with your privacy regulations thus reducing the risk of non-compliance and potential penalties. Third one we have is optimization opportunities identification. Through a GA4 audit, you can identify areas of improvement in your analytics setup, such as optimizing event tracking, refining data layer implementation, and many more. Then we have improved decision-making. With the help of reliable data from a GA4 audit, businesses can make more informed decisions and allocate their resources effectively based on accurate insights and can help in optimize market strategy. Next, we have is increased trust and credibility. 
Through GA4 audit, businesses can demonstrate their commitment to data accuracy, privacy compliance, and transparency, earning the trust of stakeholders and enhancing their credibility in market. Let us now delve into the step-by-step -step process of conducting a GA4 audit. So the first one we have is preparation. We start by ensuring if we have necessary access to tools such as GA4, GTM and any other relevant analytics platform. Next, we review the tracking implementation. So in this, we begin by verifying the proper setup of GA4 property, and then we proceed to review event tracking, custom dimensions, user properties, and other tracking implementations to assess their accuracy and completeness. Next, we assess data quality. So in this, we evaluate the quality of the data collected by your GA4 property looking for any discrepancies, anomalies, or missing data that could affect the reliability of your analytics report. Then we identify any gaps, errors, or issues discovered during the audit process, mainly focusing on areas such as incomplete tracking setup, inaccurate data collection, or discrepancies between expected and actual outcomes. And then we document these findings along with the recommended corrective actions. By following this whole process, we ensure that your GA4 property is accurately set up and is tracking relevant events effectively. Moving ahead, let's discuss about components of GA4 audit. When conducting a GA4 audit, we typically examine certain key components to ensure that our analytics setup is accurate, reliable, and compliant. So the first one we have is GA4 property setup. In this, we assess the configuration of GA4 property, including property settings, data streams, and data collection methods to verify that the property is correctly linked to the website or app and the data is being collected as expected. Then we have event tracking. In this, we review the implementation of event tracking within GA4 property. It includes identifying the events being tracked, their parameters, and whether it is relevant with your business goals or not. The third one we have is data layer implementation. In this, we evaluate the implementation of the data layer on your website or app. The data layer helps us to standardize and organize data for collection by GA4. Next, we have user consent mechanism. We check for the user consent mechanism, such as cookie consent banner, implementation of consent mode V2, and ensure that users are provided with clear information about data collection practices, and also they are given the option to consent or opt out as required by privacy regulations. Then we assess for the data quality and integrity of the data collected by your GA4 property. We look for discrepancies, anomalies, or missing data that could affect the reliability of your analytics report. Next, we verify whether your GA4 implementation complies with relevant privacy regulations such as GDPR, that is General Data Protection Regulation, and CCPA, that is California Consumer Privacy Act. We then review the data export configurations for your GA4 property, including integrations with other platforms or services. Last but not the least, we then document the audit findings, including the issues identified and the corrective measures that you can take. By examining these components, you can ensure that whether your analytics setup is robust, accurate, and compliant with relevant regulations or not. In this slide, we will learn about the tools used for Google Analytics 4 audit. So the first one we have is Google Analytics interface, that is GA4, which itself provides a wealth of tools and reports for auditing the GA4 property. Next we have is Google Tag Manager. If you are using GTM to deploy your GA4 tags, then GTM's preview mode and debug console can be invaluable tools for testing and troubleshooting tank deployments. 
Then we have Google Tag Assistant. It is a Chrome browser extension that helps validate the implementation of Google Tags, including GA4. We then have Google Analytics Debugger. It is also a Chrome extension that logs tracking calls made to Google Analytics. Next, we have Data Slayer Debugger. If you are using a data layer on your website to pass information to GA4, then this tool comes in handy to check and validate the data layer implementation. Then, utilizing a GA4 audit checklist can help you ensure that you cover all the necessary components and steps during audit. You can also use third-party tools like Observe Point, Analytics Pro, Simmer to gain comprehensive analysis and recommendations. I hope you gained some valuable insights from this video. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comment section and we will be happy to address them. Thank you.